it out. Not bad, is this? Not good either, Blue Man. Gee, now, that's mighty impressive, Bradley. Keep on practicing, and maybe you'll be able to get in here with me. The Oh My Goodness Book of World Records? Cool! You set a world record? I'm right there on page 23. I got the record for having the world's, world's biggest ball of earwax? I can't take all the credit, of course. It's a toddler family heirloom passed down from generation to generation. Friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your earwax. That's one small step for man, one giant step for earwax. Would you like to come over and see the world's biggest ball of earwax? Up close and personal? Um, thanks, Mr. D. Maybe later. Is it okay if we borrow the book? Why, sure, Bradley. I'm all in favor of young folks reading nowadays. Of course, in my day, we never had reading. All we had was postcards. Why don't we do something to get in the record book, B-Man? Way ahead of you, Stace. Presenting Red Yellow, the world's most astounding juggler. As if. You have to make it more challenging. Catch! Whoa! Yeah! Cut it out! Hey! I'm doing it! <laughs> Piece of cake! Okay. Chocolate? My favorite. I can break. World's goofiest haircut? Real mature, Bradley. I'm going to break the record for playing the world's longest trumpet note for your big fat information. <gasps> oh, man. I knew you were full of hot air, Stace. I've only been taking lessons for a week, all right. Hey, my mom's been making me take swimming lessons all summer. I'll get the record for swimming across the world's deepest ocean. Don't hold your breath, B-Man. Who are you? Duh, I'm the world's tiniest mermaid. You wish. Man, oh man, that's gotta be the world's funkiest smell. What? Oh no. A pair of stinko pushes. Stinko pie. What kind of pie? Wedgie time. Ah. <gasps> this is gonna be one for the record books. It is? Yeah! <laughs> well, it wasn't pretty, but I did it, Stace. I just got it. The world's most painful wedgie. Only one problem. Yeah, this was my last pair of underwear that still had an elastic. Ah! Okay, two problems. The Oh My Goodness book doesn't have a wedgie category. Hmm, biggest spider web, hairiest werewolf, biggest pancake. Biggest pancake? To make the world's biggest pancake, we need the world's biggest eggs. Whoa! Those must have been the world's oldest eggs, too. Duh. It says best before the late Jurassic. Aw, aren't they the world's cutest babies? Not to mention the hungriest. Uh, how about a nice breakfast burrito? What's that? It's the world's maddest mama! Nuclear? Take cover! You're supposed to set it on medium, Bradley. Hey, I like them hot. Yeah! Smooth 
move, V-Man. The radiation from the microwave has created the world's biggest mutant cockroaches. Whoa, I never knew they had such hairy legs. Hope they're friendly. If you spent your life getting stepped on, would you be friendly? Yeah! My burrito! I can't let it go to waste, even if it's radioactive waste. One day, mild-mannered Bradley B-Man, world's mildest mannered citizen, accidentally on purpose ate a radioactive burrito and was transformed into the Incredible Belt. You are so disgusting. That you? Hmm. Where are we gonna find a bowl big enough to mix the world's biggest pancake? Now, let's see. A dozen dozen eggs, a hundred quarts of milk, a pinch of salt, and two tons of flour. How will we stir it? No problem. Frank knows the doggy paddle. <laughs> hey, he's scarfing the batter. <laughs> All right, Frankie. Everybody out of the pancake. Good work, you two. Now we've got the world's lightest and fluffiest batter. But how in the world are we gonna cook it? This is a job for Dr. Stacy von Sticklerstein, world's most ingenious mad scientist, and Vigor, the world's most dim-witted assistant. Ah, uh, hey, that's oh, uh, not. Uh... Get over it, Vigor. I have invented my most diabolical invention ever. The world's biggest electric frying pan. You sure your mom knows you're borrowing this thing, Dr. Von Sticklerstein? Don't worry, Vigor. I know what I am doing. I'm a doctor. But you're a mad doctor. Mad, I tell you! I am not. I'm just a little grumpy because I went to bed late last night. We need power! It's working, Vigor! It's, it's a pancake! <laughs> This is a job for Redman, world's most handsome superhero. As if. Where are you going? The pancake went that away. Forgot the butter. Do not be alarmed, citizen. I have come in search of butter. Help yourself. It's right there in the fridge, next to my bowl. Thanks, Mr. D. <laughs> All right, Flapjack of Doom, prepare to meet your maker! And prepare to meet the world's biggest pad of butter! <laughs> Don't forget the maple syrup, B-Man. Good thing I brought the world's biggest napkin! Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, I did it! I eat the world's biggest pancake! I'm gonna be in the record book! So am I, when Mom sees we made the world's biggest mess in her kitchen. She gave me the world's longest grounding. There you are, Bradley. Here's the butter you wanted. By the way, you haven't seen my world's biggest ball of earwax by any chance. It was in the fridge, right next to the butter, but now it's gone. Oh, all of a sudden I've got the world's biggest tummy ache. I 
wonder if there's a world's biggest hurl category in the Oh My Goodness Book of Records. <laughs> well, there is now. Check this out, Stace. No hand. Oh, yeah? Look at me. One foot. Oh, yeah? Look at me. No feet. You can't do that, Bradley. It's against the law. As if? What law? The law of gravity for your fake bad information. <gasps> Whoa! There you are, Stacy. I've been looking for you. You are definitely invited. A pool party? Cool. The coolest. Everybody's supposed to come dressed as a mermaid. Great idea, Melody. It'll be boring. <laughs> Real mature, Bradley. It'll be fun. Yeah! No way am I dressing up like a mermaid. Of course not, silly. You can be a mer-boy. Not? Playing dress up is total girl stuff, you guys. Except if you play cowboys or superheroes. That's fine, because as of now, this party is girls only. Ha! Huh. Who wants to go to some goofy girl party anyway? Ow! Ow! Girl parties are totally lame. They're dumb. They're goofy. They're dull. They're a waste of time. They're silly. They're dumb. You said dumb already, Bradley. That's because girl parties are twice as dumb as regular ones. Then you're lucky you're not invited. Yeah. You don't have to dress up. I sure don't. Nope. And you don't have to eat ice cream. I sure don't. Nope. And you don't have to eat any birthday cake or drink any ice cold, Mr. Fizzy. And you don't have to go swimming in the cool, clear, refreshing pool. Nope. Nope. You get to play in the hot, dusty playground instead. Fun bee man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Who needs to go to a boring old girl party anyway? Who needs cake and ice cream and Mr. Fizzy and and water? <laughs> Time for your pounding, Scradley. Yeah, pounding. Arr, see your prayers, Scradley. Yeah, arr. If you guys pound me, we'll be making a big mistake. Cool. We like mistakes. But if you pound me, we'll never find out the secret location of the secret treasure. What kind of treasure? You name it. Gold, silver, diamonds, Mr. Fizzy on ice? Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Girls, we ain't going to no girl party, Scradley. Yeah, unmanly. Girl party? Is that a girl's cake? Is that a girl's swimming pool? Are those girls' presents? Will you be my friend? <laughs> okay, okay, forget the presents. Ice cream, anyone? Yeah! Is that girls' ice cream? Yeah. <laughs> Time to play Pin the Tail on the Humpback! Yeah! <laughs> Way to go, Polly! I made more be spew. <laughs> Ain't it about time for ice cream now, dude? Huh? Yeah! Stacio! Hmm. Has anyone seen my crustaceans? <laughs> Come on, girls! Let's party! <laughs> yeah! You girls look so great in your mermaid costumes. I just gotta get a photo. You know, for the school yearbook. What? Yearbook? 
dog. No way, man. Say cheese, ladies. <laughs> yeah! It's a homer, man. She shot me. I'm doomed, dude. Yeah, doomed. Quit belly aching, man. This is war. It ain't supposed to be pretty. What? Now let's move out. Okay, Scrappy. But I'm only following you so I can give you a good pounding if this doesn't work. Those mermaids are no match for us. We have the might, and we have the right. The forces of justice will prevail! Just what? Justice, soldier! Of course it's just us. You don't see anybody else up here, do you, General Dweebly? No! It's not just us, you guys. It ain't? So then where's the other guy? Yeah, where? Justice! Make up your mind, dude. Scradley's losing it, man. He must be cracking up under the pressure of the battle or something. Yeah, cracking. Just put these on, all right? <laughs> ah. oh. <laughs> now you did it, Scradley. Boys! <laughs> Go for it, men! Yeah! Rip cords, men! Rip cords! What gives? Where's the parachutes, man? We don't need parachutes for Operation UW. UW? Affirmative. UW as in underwater. <laughs> You're gonna pay for this, Scraggy! Bradley! This means war. That's it, man. Follow me. Get him! Welcome, gentlemen. I am Captain Bradlow, and this is a Nectarine, the world's most advanced nuclear-powered underwater vessel. I have outfitted her with all the options. Torpedoes, sonar, radar, tape deck, and most important of all, Pine-scented Christmas tree air fresheners. <laughs> Whoa, man! What? I'm gonna outfit you with a nuclear wedgie, Scratlo. Silence! We have reached our destination. The mysterious Mermaid Lagoon. Look at it. Treasure beyond our wildest dreams. <laughs> Those goofy mermaids obviously don't suspect a thing. They've left it totally unguarded. Ha ha! This is gonna be a piece of cake! Get it! Ah! <laughs> Rabbit speed! Full speed ahead! <laughs> I can taste that Mr. Fizzy already! Mermaids ready? Ready! <laughs> uh oh! Fire! Yeah! Turn back, Scrando! We give up, dude! Give up! Bend the torpedoes! What? Problem, kids. The sludge suck 3000 will get rid of this vest faster than you can say. There's my crustacean. Yeah! Have fun, Bee Man. Pay for 
this, Bradley. Yeah!